In this module, we're going to talk about the AdSense dashboard itself. So after you get your ads in place and you have visitors to your website, they start clicking on your ads. Then you're going to start earning money. And when you go to the AdSense homepage, like we have here, and you've signed in, then you're going to see your estimated earnings. This is just kind of the dashboard summary level, the amount that you've made so far during the day, how much you made the last seven days, 28 days, and then your the last payment that you received in the previous month, for example. Um, so we don't spend a lot of time on this homepage summary where, where we spend most of our time is in something called performance reports. So when you open up the performance, performance reports, you see that on the left there are a lot of different kinds of reports to select for the entire account by day, the various websites if you have more than one website, countries, ad units, and platforms. Uh, ad units are the individual ads that you've created. Platforms are the different device types, whether it's desktop, tablet, or mobile. And then there are a lot of advanced reports as well, looking at your data by week and by month and by custom channels. You recall when you set up an ad, you could actually create channels to group kinds of ads together. For example, I said that if you wanted uh, ads that were all on your tips page, and you might create a tips channel, or if you wanted to um, report on ads that were all on your news page and your news page only, then you might create a channel just for news. Those are just some, some examples of kinds of challenges, channels that you might use. And then the ad types, um, this will be, um, well, well, we'll take a look at a few of these, but I just want to kind of give you a quick overview. Ad sizes, you can report on those so you can find out uh, which size of ads are doing better than others. So let's just kind of uh, look at the very first report that we get presented, presented with um, just sort of by default. And here you have the estimated earnings for this time period. And in our case, we're looking at today. Let's look at this whole month of March. Um, so we're looking at, th this is the amount that we've earned so far during the month, it's the number of page views, and the number of impressions. As you see, the impressions are about three times bigger than the page views. That's because we have approximately three ads per page. And so um, this is counting how many ads actually get displayed to users, the total number of times people have clicked on our ads. And then the RPM is the number, the amount that we've earned per 1,000 impressions of our ads or rather in, uh, for 1000 page views of our ads and then this is the amount that we earn per 1000 impressions of our ads and the active viewable is this is the um, percentage of ads that were actually uh, able to be seen by a user on our site now why would that not be 100 how come not all of our ads are able to be seen and that's quite simply because um, users don't always scroll down to see all the ads on your page so at any given time you have ads that uh, are never seen by users because they never scroll down so that's kind of the simple explanation and this is the combined earning of all kinds of earning but here we have different tabs like clicks and views these are the most important ones um, you earn money in two ways one is by clicks and that's this is pretty clear so like on this particular site, we had 13,000 clicks. Um, they were clicked on 2.23% of the time. So this click-through rate is a pretty important number. And obviously when, when you move ads around on your site, uh, you will change the click-through rate. If you put them the ads in bad positions, you'll have a worse click-through rate. If you put them in good, positions you'll have a better click-through rate and there's some other things that affect click-through rate that are outside of your control for example if we will start showing ads that aren't pertinent to your visitors or are lower quality ads because they think that maybe you have a lower quality site and they're saving their higher quality ads for other sites then you could see a lower click-through rate and certainly in that case you would also see uh, a lower revenue per click. This is actually CPC, which stands for cost per click, but from your perspective, it isn't cost, it's actually income. So this is like a revenue per click number. So on this site, this site earned 
17 cents for each click. And uh, we also made a $3.87 cents um, per uh, page view, per thousand page views. So, um, you know, you may recall this number is different than the number we saw over here, which was like 7.68, but that's because this is only for revenue that's coming from clicks on ads. And there's another category of revenue that's not clicks, um, but views. So, um, <clears throat> So the when we also get paid uh, in some cases for simply showing ads to people whether they click on them or not, and we don't have any control over that. Google decides which ads are in one category or the other, and and they're uh, just based on relationships that they have with um, their advertisers. So just want to kind of go back to this overview and then scroll down and show you what it looks like in the table below. There's a graph and this is earnings. And then in the table, it shows how many page views we have, how many ad impressions. Again, for this site, we have about three ads per page. Uh, occasionally, there might be a really short page. And so we might only display two ads on that. So it won't be exactly um, three times this number um, and then the clicks and the rpm and the um, impression rpm which as i mentioned above this is for the page at the page level and this is by impression um, and then the active viewable it varies from day to day but you can see it's fairly consistent and then um, the amount that uh, we were earning um, by day, we're earning about $279 a day uh, for this month. So um, that's kind of the, the basic dashboard report, but let's take a look at ad sizes. It, this can be instructional, except that in this case, uh, it's not instructional because all of our ads are of the responsive size, which means that it, it changes shape and size based on device. Um, so um, for your site, if you have selected different sizes then those would show up here like you might have the 336 by 280 and the 728 by 90 and you might have responsive in which case you'd have three different line items here targeting types is another interesting report this shows the split between interest-based ads which i explained to you earlier these are the ads that kind of follow people around based on what they've been searching for and so in this site you can see that a lot of the ads are actually interspace, 55% through the 6%, and that's pretty high. Um, most websites are not running nearly that high for interest-based ads. And then the other category, contextual, this is the more typical kinds of ads. These are the ones where Google tries to figure out what your page is about and displays ads that are related to the content on your page. And then placement ads, um, this is a very um, small category on this site, and, uh, and and what that means is that peop that advertisers have actually located your website, and they specifically have put an ad on your site, not just generically targeting keywords, but actually targeting your specific site. And we click on the bid types report, and scroll down. You know, I mentioned to you that. We make money when people click, and then sometimes when they act, when they view, and so the, this is the money that came in. Obviously, the vast majority is for click-related ads, and then there's a little bit of money um, in per-view ads as well. If we click on ad networks and scroll down, you'll see that you know the vast majority of the money is coming directly from Google AdWords. As I explained earlier in the course, AdWords is for the advertiser they're where they're actually buying um, ad space and of course we are the publisher and we're getting paid in this case and, and we use adsense and then there's a, a tool called bid manager that's uh, also run by google and people can send their ads through that to us and then there are quite a number of other ad networks that collaborate with google and, and so the, you know, they are not Google themselves, but they collaborate with Google and use their platform, the Google platform to display their ads. So um, you, th those are some of the, the primary 
kinds of uh, reports and you, you can look at these and a lot of them are self-evident what they are but you know here's kind of the weekly report since there's only been two weeks this month um, that's all you see there and of course you can set up your own reports if you like by clicking on new report um, there is one column that we haven't talked about and it, it's called uh, first we're going to go back to days and then I'm going to show you it's called custom and um, when you create a custom report you get to pick uh, from a list of what you want to display and so in this case I have a custom report set up and it only has one column the column is called coverage and I just wanted to explain coverage to you which is why I set this report up coverage is the um, percentage of the time that Google actually fills up an ad space with an ad there are situations when Google just simply doesn't have a good ad to put on your site at that particular time when they'll actually leave that spot blank you recall that when we set up an ad there was an area on the screen called backup ads and that's when you're telling Google what to do when it doesn't have an ad to display and sometimes it's it leaves it blank or other times you can tell it to um, to display an, an ad that you give it yourself and in order to do that you actually have to create an image and create a URL to store that image and then Google will um, will go get that image from that URL and you, you can look that up online on how to do that but the point here is that you want to have coverage rates like this that are in the high 98 99 percentile because what that means is that um, only 1% of the time did Google not have an ad to show your users and clearly if you're seeing lower numbers then you're missing a lot of opportunity to show ads to other people uh, so I uh, just wanted to point that out and, and the way you would do that is um, when you create a custom report for the first time um, it lets you select a column like coverage and you could select any of these other columns that you find on other reports as well just to kind of customize the report for you now there's um, <clears throat> a section called allow and block ads and um, you can select categories of ads that you want to display or not display on your website um, and then there's some information about the kind of traffic from the last 30 days and and how the amount of traffic relates to the earnings that you've made for that particular category now whereas it, it may seem tempting to really manage this and go through here and allow and block various categories the truth is that for the vast majority of people the vast majority of time uh, you lose money when you start trying to block things yourself and to try to micromanage Google you're, you're much better off letting Google um, select the ads themselves now there are some exceptions to that guidance one of them is that you may have competitors who are targeting ads to be put on your site and if if you're looking at your site and you see your competitors ads showing up and you don't want to display them then you can find settings in here to uh, block those ads you can block um, very specific ads or you can just block entire categories of ads you may also have some ethical issues there may be some categories of ads that um, you, you simply don't want to display on your site and if that's the case then you can locate those in this section now in this course I'm not explaining how to set up Google Analytics on your website you'll have to find that in another course but once you have Google Analytics set up on your site where you're actually tracking all your visitors and the pages that they're going to and when you have AdSense set up as well you can link your AdSense account to your Google Analytics account and you do that on this home page in the dashboard where it says integrate with Google AdSense you just click that and then as you see here it says you must be an administrator of a Google Analytics account to integrate it with this AdSense account so um, you need to have already set up an analytics account now in this particular situation there is not an analytics account set up so I can't demonstrate that for you but if you did have one set up then it's going to list the 
account that it found for you and you'll simply uh, select from the pull down menu the right account and the right analytics view and then click submit that you want to link those things together and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after you've done that let me bring up an analytics account And the huge advantage you'll find to linking your analytics and AdSense accounts together is that analytics will then show you the revenue per page on your website. So these are the, the different pages on this particular website and it shows how much money each page has made. And of course, at the page level, you can tell how good the click-through is. This is publisher click-through rate. You saw the click-through on the AdSense dashboard and it's kind of rolls up all the click-through of the individual articles. But here you can see it on each individual article. And then you can see how much money each individual article is making. And of course, some of them make a lot more per thousand sessions um, than others. And so this is really, really handy. If you have a website with multiple pages, which most people do, and some websites have many hundreds or thousands of pages, and you can see exactly what percentage of your revenue is coming from each page. And you can use this to optimize pages that are not performing very well from an AdSense point of view.